Hello, this is Cameron McKenzie, Applications Engineer here at Man and Machine. And today we're going to be looking at managing licenses inside of Autodesk's management portal. For those that are using single user licenses, this will be the new process for managing these licenses. And as a license administrator, you'll need to associate a single license seat to an individual named user. And this is the process in which we can go through to assign these licenses. So I'm currently in the manage.autodesk.com portal. You'll need to activate this or, or access this rather through any web browser and sign in with your management account. I'm currently signed in with my own account because I've got the ability to manage licenses through this account. Once signed in, you've got a menu on the left hand side here where we can view the products and services, product updates, custom installations and any active trials that are associated to our license to our account. If I go into all products and services, you'll see all of the products that I have available to me. And in this case, all of the products you will have available to you inside of your management account, inside of your administrative account for Autodesk licenses. From here, you as the administrator will be able to download and install the products that you have access to. Any user that is assigned a license will also be able to see the all products and services and see all licenses that they have access to or have been assigned to. A little further down, we've got the user management section. This is only available for license administrators. If you are an administrator, this will be visible to you. If you're not an administrator, this will not be visible to you. So you'll need to sign in with an administration account. Within the user management, we've got the ability to view our licenses by user, by product or by group. They'll all three show the same licenses. They will just show different views of those particular licenses. So if I go by user, this will take a few seconds to load quickly. This will essentially allow me to see all of the licenses that I have available to me and will show me the top level first where I have the users that are associated to those particular licenses. So from by user, I will see all of the users I have inside of my team. We begin to create teams that we can then associate licenses to. And in this view, you can see I'm the only person in this particular team, but I've got the ability in the top right to invite users to this team. So if I select invite users, from here, I've got the ability to in enter a first name, last name, and email address. Otherwise, I've also got the ability to come in and import using a CSV file, where the first column is first name, second column is last name, and third column, C, is email address. We can upload a CSV file, and this will bulk add users to our team. Once we have a user associated to our team or assigned to the team, we've got the ability to assign licenses to this individual. So if I select my username over here, it'll take a few seconds to load and you can see we've got the ability to unassign licenses that are already assigned to this particular user or assign licenses that are not currently assigned to the user. If I had to unassign this Vault Professional license over here, you'll see it goes down into another group of not assigned licenses or unassigned licenses. I've got the ability, if I have any licenses available to me, to assign a license to an individual user just by clicking the Assign button. By default, the administrator will be assigned some licenses. So if you as the administrator are not wanting to use any of the software or don't need to use any of the software, you, it might be worthwhile seeing if any of them have been associated to you and unassigning these licenses. The other view that we have is by product. So if I select by product from the list over here on the side, you'll see that all of the products that are available to me inside of this team of licenses are listed inside of this particular view. From here, I can see which users are assigned to which products. So I can view by product, as the name implies, at Vault Professional. 
And from here, I can see all of the users, if I had more, that are associated to this license. And again, if I don't have any licenses available, I can unassign from a user that doesn't particularly need the license. And this will go to a blank view over here at the bottom. But at the top, you can see we've now got the ability to assign users to this set, to this product. So I can come in and assign licenses. I can type in the name of the user that I want and assign the license, select them from the list and assign the license from inside here. Once I'm happy with that, I can hit done and you can see the user has been assigned directly from inside there. And that's essentially the process of assigning licenses. You can come in and tweak these license allocations if you need to, if particularly users need the license on certain days and others use it, need on another day, we've got the ability to assign and unassign licenses as they um, are needed. As long as only one license is being used by one particular person at a time, we've got the ability to assign these individually and they will need to be named individuals. So you'll need to have a named user at the end product. So somebody is signed in with their own email address with their name and uh, allocated to the account. But we've got the ability to come in and assign individual licenses to individual users. I hope this has been beneficial to you. If you have any further queries, please feel free to get in touch with us. Other than that, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day further.